busy on Instagram liking pictures You need to stop playing and come and visit I need your location inside the DM Your friends in the back, they like go and see him I seen her, I swear she was looking mixy I think she was Cuban and Puerto it's your girl JB back with another video and today we're going to be discussing the best or worst outfits of the VMAs which was August 20th I believe correct me if I'm wrong but let's get into this video okay first runner up is your girl Kylie Jenner and I'm here for her outfit 110% I think it's really nice it looks amazing on her and with her figure and the belt helps um show that figure that she has and she came with a vibe of a businesswoman which i am here for 110 percent and i love it because it's nice and short as well so it gives also a young vibe to it but i think she looks amazing next is her hubby travis scott um i really i like his outfit but the only thing that throws me off is the jacket and i don't feel like he should have worn the jacket and then his outfit would have been fine but otherwise than that he looks pretty next is j-lo i love j-lo um her i love the straight hair the straight hair looks amazing with her outfit and her outfit is very nice i love the dress and i love how the just the look of the entire dress and her accessories it just go together and she she can pull everything off so yes j-lo i'm here for it Next is Blake Lively. Um, I feel like her outfit fits her. But my favorite part of her outfit is her jacket. Especially the fact that it has shoulder pads in her jacket. But I just feel like, I feel like Blake Lively's outfit fits her. I'm just not feeling what's underneath the jacket. But otherwise than that, it's a decent. Next is Nicki Minaj. Um, I love Nicki Minaj, but the outfit, I, I just wasn't feeling it. From the moment that I saw it, I, I'll just like this. Now, <laughs> you know better. Okay, so I'm the tan, the, I think it's the color that throws it off. I don't like the color. And then also, I'm not feeling the mesh that's over her because one, I, I, I would think that she would wear something like nice and poofy, not just something that like drapes over and you can see through it. Cause it just looks like she's just dragging a rag. But otherwise than that, I'm just not, I'm not feeling her outfit. Like, her designer should have done better. Way better. But, hey, it is what it is. Next is your boy, Tyga. I'm not really feeling this whole denim look, as you can see. Because it's just, one, the blue denim part, it looks fake. Like, it just looks fake. And it looks like it just put together and this is simple outfit just to throw on. Y'all, y'all, I need y'all to get it together. This awards, y'all should have came with some type of theme for an outfit because everybody look a hot mess. And next is Miss Iggy Eggs. Um, her outfit is very different and it's nice, but I don't feel like it's for her. I feel like she could have done more with her outfit. And um, the boots is just not cutting it. One, it's too hot for boots. And I just feel like the boots wasn't cutting it. And the outfit is not, it's a cute outfit, but I don't think it's for her. She has a nice body, so I feel like she should show it off instead of hiding it underneath that dress. But it's decent. Next is my husband. Y'all, this man looks amazing. Like, he just hear the angels. But it's Shawn Mendes, and um, I'm loving, I'm loving the top of his outfit. I didn't realize at first that it was a split between a blue and a green color, which is very different. And I don't know what designer this is, but whoever dressed him did an amazing job. Um, I'm just, I just love it. He, he pulls it off nice and he has an amazing figure. So it goes right with his suit. And I'm loving the collar shirt and how like it's there, but you, you can't really notice it. And then how open the V-neck it is. I love that. It looks amazing. And y'all, these boots that he be wearing, 
he can rock that with anything. A casual outfit, semi-formal, formal outfit. He got it. But yeah, he looks amazing. Alright, next, Miss Tiana Taylor. I love her so much, y'all, but Miss Tiana Taylor, the outfit's different. I love different, but I don't feel that it's DMA appropriate. I feel she should have put on a nice dress, something different, but a dress, you know, something that's award appropriate. But she looks nice. I like it. Miss Rita Ora. Um, I feel like her outfit um was kind of semi vma appropriate but i feel like with it being see-through and everything it's kind of too much even though she probably did something to stand out and look different which is fine look different we did to be different is to be great but i'm really i'm just not feeling it i'm not feeling it at all she didn't give me the vibe that she would usually give me but she looks okay next is miss Ariana Grande um I feel like her looks her looks fit her but again what's with the silver what is with the silver and y'all you have noticed her hair was down it wasn't in the ponytail oh my god ah! slide bitch slide y'all her and Pete are really cute like they're they're just adorable but her hair is down I'm just I'm more excited at the fact that her hair is down than her outfit, but y'all. All right. Next is Miss Millie Bobby Brown. Um, her outfit is to die for. I'm sorry, but I the reason why I said that because it's something that I would wear, as you can see, and it's really cute, and I'm just loving in it, and it's age appropriate and it's different. But I feel like they should have just added a pop of color for accessory, like a red bag or a yellow bag, just something with color that would make her outfit look a little bit more or less dark. <laughs> Next is Miss Amber Rose. Y'all. Uh -huh. Next is Maluma. Maluma, baby. <laughs> Y'all. For this to be his first VMA Awards, he did an amazing job. So that's 10 points for me. Um, his outfit is really on a shimmer side, and which I like a lot. It looks very decent on him, especially with the quarter cut sleeve. It looks very good. And then the V-neck area, I just think it fits him really well. And then I love how he added the pop of color to color block with the red shoes. So I think that looks amazing on him. And his outfit it just it looks amazing. It looks nice on him. He did a great job. Next is Miss Tamina Cabello. And um, I'm not really feeling her dress. Like, I don't think it fits her well. Because one, it looks like her dress is being cushioned in this area of her body. And then the bottom just looks like a deflated pillow. Like, I'm not feeling it at all. I feel like she could have done something a little bit. It could have been cute or like a, still a dress, but not this. And that color with a red lip, I don't think, I don't think that looked really well on her. So, next is Cardi. God. I love Cardi B. I think she looks amazing. Thank you. Oh. And after having a baby, y'all, y'all cannot say that she did not. Play. So, and I think she just she pulled the look off, and it looks really good on her. And then I love the little pixie cut. Y'all, that was done by Tokyo himself. And I think he did amazing. And he helped the look with the pixie cut because it's very different and she stood out. So yes, Miss Cardi, you did amazing. Um, next is Hailey Kayako. I hope I'm gonna that one. I don't know. But y'all, I feel like her outfit, her outfit is cute on her. But I feel like they could have tightened up the waist area a little bit more and pumped up her boot just a little bit more to help enhance the v-neck area and tighten it around the shoulder area and then um i feel like they should get with Haley. i feel like her bag could have 
been a different color because one it looks like it looks more of a blue black than this regular black so i feel like they should have gave her probably like a silver bag or like something with color something that would stand out just just with a pop of color come on but next is miss black china i feel like she came dressed just to be naked y'all but it's not bad she doesn't she doesn't look bad i just feel like it was too much for the vmas but hey if you enjoy your body like that then go ahead by all means but the outfit is not something that i feel like was it will be appropriate for the vmas so next is miss bb rexa and y'all i feel like this outfit fits her because when you say her name, it sounds like exotic. So you expect her to dress in an ex exotic way, but something that stands out. And I feel like the shininess of her dress, I mean, of her outfit, not dress, but her outfit looks amazing. And her tan, girl, your tan looks good. Your tan looks really good. And like, I just think it fits her. It fits her name, it fits her look, and it's nice. Next is Miss Tiffany Haddish. Y'all, she's like, it's just something that they draped over her, but it makes her look older than what she looks. So, outfit, need a new stylist. Um, Chloe and Hallie's outfit, which I loved 110%. I think they look amazing in it, and I don't understand why people are bashing them on the internet, saying it's inappropriate when they're legally grown to wear what they want. And I think they look amazing. So, thanks for watching this video. That was the end, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to keep it classy and comment down below what outfits were your favorite outfits for the VMAs. Bye. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and out like last week. Tell me where have you been? Like I'm your man, I'm just a